I dealing with this? Why me? I can't tell you the number of times I've heard these questions. They're usually coming from people with whom I'm working who are experiencing a PMAD and who are confused and shocked that they're experiencing depression and anxiety symptoms in a time period that they thought was going to be really different. My answer to those questions is the biopsychosocial model. That's basically a lot of jargon that suggests that we all have biological, psychological, and social vulnerabilities that create almost this perfect storm makes us more susceptible to experiencing things like a PMAD. Let's walk through the biopsychosocial model together for what might be a typical view of an individual with whom I'm working. So starting at the biological vulnerability space, as a function of being in the perinatal period, you're already in a place where you're experiencing hormonal changes, a biological vulnerability. Let's say you or your family have had challenges with emotional challenges in the past, diagnosed or otherwise. That's a biological vulnerability. Shifting down to the psychological vulnerabilities. This just might be your own psychological challenges, your personality style, maybe you're more perfectionistic, maybe you tend to ruminate more. Perhaps your typical coping strategies that you like to use can't really be as easily accessed in the perinatal period for a variety of reasons. And then we have social vulnerabilities. Perhaps you're out of work on leave. Perhaps you're not getting a paycheck. Perhaps you and your partner have been arguing more with all the changes at home. Maybe you don't have a partner or have limited support altogether. These are all just examples. But when you sit down and look at the different biological, psychological, and social vulnerabilities, you can certainly see how we might have more of a risk of dealing with a PMAD. But good news. In addition to vulnerabilities, we all come with strengths and buffers, things we bring to the table that are gonna help you feel better. I invite you to evaluate your own personal vulnerabilities, but also highlight what strengths come to mind. If you're watching this, I'm gonna guess that you're interested, curious, and open to support. This definitely works in your favor. Other strengths might include a good support system or a willingness to enhance your support. So remember, use those strengths to help push down those vulnerabilities. It works.